Hello everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday once again. Let's see, make sure I'm in the right place. Um, this week we are using the Rockstar Bundle. I was calling it Rock and Roll until last night when I started typing everything up and realized it's called Rockstar. The paper, I believe, is called Rock and Roll. You know, it's all the same. But anyway, this is what we're gonna use. And I have to tell you, that I am pretty in love with the projects that I did this week. You know, I didn't expect to love this um, suite as much as I do. So I think you guys are gonna like what I came up with. I have a really fun treat box too for you. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Hello, good to see you. Hi, Nicole. Um, all right, so this week we're gonna make three projects with a rock star, but I have lots of things I wanna tell you first. Um, in case you haven't heard, this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle is the Perennial Lavender Suite. Um, this is our PDF that we give away for free when you spend $50 with me. In February, 12 video tutorials by 12 different designers. Um, here is my project this month. Um, the reason I am bringing this up first is because we did a blog hop yesterday. So if you are looking for even more perennial lavender ideas, make sure you go back one blog post to find it. Um, we all post a second project. And this week, my second project is actually a swap that I got from a downline. So it's beautiful. I was like, I have to show this card off. So it's my second project. But anyway, if you get the PDF, it's free. If you spend $50, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. But the blog hop, of course, is free as well. And everybody has a second project for you to check out as well. Um, lots of perennial lavender fans out there. It's a very popular suite. I love it. Okay, um, let me flip you guys around. I wanna show you some things. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this. Um, so, it's celebration and we have new celebration items. And last week when we talked about it, I didn't have all of them to show you. And I wanna show you them this week. Let me clean up just a bit. Okay, so here is the celebration catalog. Hopefully you guys have this. During January, February, 2024, I realized I had 2023 on a bunch of things yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> I think I've changed it all to 2024 now. Takes a while, right, to get that. Um, Trisha, I'm a little obsessed with that perennial lavender suite as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, this is the celebration catalog. Free things, right? January and February, you can get uh, things for free with uh, either a $50 purchase or a $100 purchase. We call... Um, well, I don't know if we still call it, but I call it level one. A level one is a free with a $50 purchase and a level two is free with a $100 purchase. And those things are towards the back. Um, so these things as of right now are all available. Well, I haven't checked today, but as of yesterday, they were all available. I see them kind of blurry. It looks like maybe um, we've got like a low connection or something. I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully it'll, you know, when I update it, when I, when I'm done, it like cleans all that up for whatever reason. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, so on the first we got new items. And so let me show you the things in addition that you can get with your purchase in February through the 29th. And I hope I'm getting all of these right. There are two new stamp sets beside me and botanical layers. All of these things are from the catalogs. Um, but you can, of course, buy them or you can earn them for free, right, with a $50 purchase. So Botanical Layers beside me. I have a card using this. I'm going to show you guys next week on my blog. Um, you can also choose the stripes and splatters embossing folders. There's two of them in here. It's sized to fit the mini cut and emboss machine if you have the mini. You can also choose a pack of envelopes and card bases called Sweet Thoughts, Memories, and More. I'm going to show you some cards I made with this um, next, well, not next week, week after next. Um, the They coordinate with the Memories and More cards, and they make awesome greeting cards. So this is one of the things you can get for free. How many are in here? 20 cards, 20 envelopes, okay? Um, there are two kits, and I'm not going to open them. 
um, because, well, maybe I will. I have them here and I want to give them for free when people, when you buy my class in February, if your order is over a certain threshold, you can add a celebration item to your class. Um, so I want to hold these back to give to people who maybe choose them. But I do want to show you this one. This one is called um, Love This Memory Notebook Kit. It's a little notebook and it's really a memory keeping uh, little, um, just a little, little album. It's really, really cute. It's got a pretty big stamp set and a, what color is this? Parakeet Party uh, Stampin' Blend, okay? So that is one of the things you can choose when you spend 50. This one is the Robot Buddies Kit. Um, and then the other thing, which I think is really, like if I had to choose just one thing, I think this is what I would choose. This um, everything, no, I always call it the wrong thing. Delightfully Eclectic 12 by 12 paper stack. And there's a bunch of paper in here. Let's see, does it say 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper? I have used this paper a ton. So um, this is one of the things you can get for free too. So lots of great options with your $50 purchase. Okay. So free, like, like literally it's free with a $50 purchase. Then they added two things to the level two, which is free with a hundred dollar purchase. And it is the dragonfly punch or the uh, new core color collection stamp and write markers, which is a really good value too. Um, I think that would probably be the thing that I would choose is the markers. Okay, so in addition to everything in here, you still have these additional options. When you go to order online, um, like when you're in your shopping cart and you, whatever, select next, I can't remember what the button says, the next screen will prompt you to choose. Um, it's not gonna let you forget and it will show you all of these things that you can choose. And if your order is $100, you can choose two of the $50 items or one of the $100 items. Um, and it's stackable, so you're not just limited. You know, if you ordered $500 and you would get 10 level one things or five level two things, right? All right. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Oh, good, Cindy. I'm glad you got your prize. Good. Uh, mail has been really weird, you guys. I did get my swaps yesterday. How many weeks did that take? Seven? Seven weeks? Crazy. I don't know what's going on with the Postal Service. I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of people having issues. Um, so hopefully when I mail you things, they get there pretty quickly. Okay, one more thing I want to talk about, celebration. There's just a couple of weeks left to take advantage of the starter kit special. Um, when you buy the starter kit in February, you can choose this glass mat bundle, which we'll be using today. Or, and it's a $60 value, or you can choose, if you're like, I have a glass mat, I don't want that, I don't need it, but I do want some free stuff, you can choose option two, which is an additional $30 in free product of your choice, okay? Um, so just know that that is until the end of February, and when you buy the starter kit, you then get the discount, which is 20% off of your purchases, or you earn 20% off purchases from your friends, um, you get early access to catalogs. Like right now, we are able to order early the online exclusives that are coming out in March. I've ordered all of those. That's, that's my favorite part, being able to order things early. Um, you also get to be part of my team, which means you get all my PDFs for free. You get my class kits at a discount. You get to be part of our creative challenges and our swapping and, um, lots of fun things. So, if you're interested in that starter kit, I have a tab at the top of my blog that says join. Click that and it will give you the details. And if you have questions, please message me and ask me. I'll be happy to answer questions for you. Okay, that is that. I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, Club Create, we are in the next round of Club Create. March Club Create is the trusty tools. And I am a little bit obsessed with with this um, suite of products. The paper is actually one of the things you can get for free during celebration. And I have been, with all of my purchases, I've been choosing paper so that in March's Club Create kit, everybody's gonna get some free paper in addition to the other things that you get in your kit. Um, the kit is going to be four cards and a little 3D treat holder, um, a little toolbox treat holder, 
Um, it includes about $25 in product. Oh, I was going to show you this month's Club Create kit. Uh, it's all the way on the other side of the room. I'll show you next time. Um, I'm trying to, I've lost my train of thought. So it's $45. It includes about $25 in product, five projects, a video tutorial, PDF tutorial, and shipping. And then if you stay for six months consecutively, you get a $25 product credit on your sixth month, which means I say, hey, tell me what you want from the catalog worth $25. And I'm going to order it for you and send it in your sixth kit. Okay, so it's really fun. Of course, you can cancel after one month, two months, whatever. There's no... Um, you know, obligation to stay. And if you forget to cancel it and you meant to cancel it, you can always email me and I can refund you. I don't mind doing that. Um, we all forget and you know, I'm a human too. I get it. So don't ever feel like you are like locked in. You can subscribe for one month, take a couple months off, come back, subscribe for two months, step away, whatever. Um, but it's consecutively, um, they ship around the 21st of every month. They include about $25 in product and they have a long video. I, I make a, a video of these. I don't do videos with all my classes, but I do a video um, for Club Create. Okay, so that is that. Easter classes. Um, where was I yesterday? But they had a ton of Easter candy. Where was I? Did I go somewhere yesterday or maybe it was the day before? Gosh, you guys, isn't that bad? I can't even remember where I was this week. Well, anyway, there was a lot of Easter candy there wherever I was. Um, and so it's it's getting time for us to start thinking about Easter. Uh, my Easter classes to go, I have two of them. I have the 3D treats class, and then I have the Easter cards class. This one features Easter lilies um, bundle, which I didn't think I was gonna love as much as I do. I love this um, bundle. This is five cards. Um, both classes include product that you'll have you'll use on your projects and then you'll have a bunch left over like um, say you use 10 dots and then you have the whole package left to use on other projects um, they both include embellishments some paper and I believe some ribbon and I believe I can't even remember the details of this are on today's PDF and today's blog post um, I love Easter candy too Joan I know I know um, yeah, Angel, I do a video for every club create. Uh, it's on that very first page of the PDF. Um, some people prefer written direct directions, so I always do the PDF, but then for club create, there's always a, it's usually about 40, 45 minute long video, um, making those. Yeah. And see, Jean says she likes having the video. So, you know, it's either or and you have both for club create for Easter. It's just the written directions. Um, but when I do written directions for 3D projects, I do photos, like step-by-step, -step, how to put the box together, how to cut it, how to score it, how to do all the things that you need, need to do. Um, the deadline on this is coming up. Let me look at my calendar. I believe it's the 21st of February, and they will ship the 28th of February, okay? So that is that. Um, we have two new kits. Let me just show you them real quick. I know I showed last week, but I want to show you again. This one's really cool. It's a home decor kit and it's, um, framed, framed art, little paper. Um, I should put these together so you guys can see, cause they're really cute. Um, little plants, framed plants. So that is that one. I think we discussed this last week. It's 28. One of them is 25 and one of them is 28. This one is a birthday kit, has cards and tags. Um, stamp set, early espresso spot, it comes with a clear block. Um, these are both in the kit section of the website. So if you wanna look at what kits are available, click the at the top of the stampinup.com website. There's like a little shopping tab, you click it. Well, actually, I think it's already popped up and then there's little icons and one of them is a kit and you can open the kits and see what we have. There, we have a lot of kits. All right, let me move these out of the way and let me clear off some of this and then we're gonna get started. I can't wait for today's projects. Um, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I have a free PDF over on my blog that should have gone up. Has anybody checked? Um, should have gone up right now. Um, it has the measurements and supply list for all three projects that we're going to make today. It has a host code that is attached to it. If you like today's projects, I will send them to you for free. They look like this when they go out. They have the embellishments that I use, 
like ribbon. Um, things are scored and die cut for you. Um, the only thing that you will need this week are the Rockstar stamps and Rockstar dies. Other than that, if it's like a circle or a label, I'll have those cut for you, but you will need the dies um, for the, if you wanna make them exactly like mine. Um, there, we're using an embossing folder this week too. I don't emboss, um, so you can use any embossing folder you want, or you can use the one that I am using, which I'll tell you what that is when we get to it. Um, there's a free PDF over there. It has that host code on it, and it has all the things that I just talked about, all the links. If you want full details, check them out over there. Okay, so these um, deadline for this is Monday at midnight, and then I cut them on Tuesday, mail them on Wednesday. There's not going to be a Facebook Friday next week, you guys. I'm going to be uh, up in Waco with my daughter. Um, so, uh, but I do have something fun planned for next week. Um, I'm going to be giving away something, um, to everybody who orders while I'm gone. So stay tuned for that. And then we'll be back the following Friday, which will be the last Facebook Friday during celebration. What is that? The 23rd. And we'll be doing the ice cream bundle that week. Okay. All right. The last thing before we get started, I need to tell you who won the stamp set. Fluffiest Friends, well actually it's a bundle. Fluffiest Friends uh, dies and stamps is Darcy Dutton. Darcy, I believe I have your mailing address. Unless it's changed, message me or email me and let me know. Um, thank you, Trisha. The post is up. Good. Um, this week I'm going to give away a gorgeously made bundle from the annual catalog. If you'd like to win, just share the video. And I'll choose somebody at random either on YouTube or Facebook and I'll send it to you for free. Okay, that is that. I think we are ready to get started. So do you guys have the rock and roll bundle yet? Is it on your list? You know, I was like, yeah, it's cute, I like it. But once I started playing with it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really fun, really cute. Makes great masculine cards. Now I will say that my youngest daughter is a musician She's also, she's the one that play, plays basketball. She plays the piano, she plays the guitar, she plays the ukulele, and she plays the violin. Um, she's kind of too cool, you know, for orchestra, but every year she's like, she's like, I'm not gonna do orchestra anymore. And then, and then like towards the end of the year, she's like, well, I think I'm gonna keep doing it. She's like trying to be, you know, like I'm too cool for this, but she loves music. So when I saw this set, this is pretty much what her guitar looks like. And we're gonna make a little amp box at the end today which is inspired by the amp that she got for Christmas to go with her electric guitar so um, when I say they're masculine projects they are but yet they can go they don't have to be masculine you know like I sent her the picture of the the, the third project when I had made it and she freaked out and to get your 15 year old to like something that you've made or to even express some kind of emotion <laughs> is pretty amazing. So I was really excited that she was, that she was excited about it. So I hope you guys like it too. Okay. So this first card, now I showed you a card last week that had what I was calling faux stitching on it. And, um, I'm still trying to, well, I don't want to move things cause things might get crazy, start falling down. Could you imagine? You can't really see it that well because it's black, but there's some faux stitching lines on this card. And maybe on the picture um, on my blog, you'll be able to see it. And the way that I created those faux stitching lines is this tool right here. And we talked about this tool last week. And after I got off of the live, I saw somebody commented. I was saying how I cut myself really badly with the, the quilter rotary cutting tool many years ago and I threw it away and never used it again and somebody said that her mom cut her finger off with hers <laughs> which really freaked me out but I have to tell you that this one is much safer um you can't even get your thumb I mean you would have to be like it, it would be really uncomfortable to get your thumb anywhere near it while you're using it and also has this little flip thing here I'm, I'm sure the other ones do too but it has this little flip guard here these are what they call, they're calling the crafters tips that go with your take your pick tool. Um, if you don't have a take your pick tool, let me show you. I have several of them because I'm lazy and I don't wanna have to switch out the tips. But the, the main one comes with this putty end like this and they have lids. I just, again, I'm lazy and I just leave it off. Um, there's another end that has a piercer. There's a spatula. 
Um, there's a scoring tip that you can use right here. Um, this is a tip that you can get for it. It is the die brush, which is good for getting all those little dots out of your die cuts, you know, with those intricate ones. And then the crafter's tips, which I should have brought the other two over here. Um, there's one that looks almost like a little uh, dental tool, <laughs> like a little hook. And then I'm drawing a blank on the other one. What is it? Isn't it just like a straight pointer, like a poker? Pretty sharp one. Isn't that it right there? Is that it? No, that's the spatula. I don't know. I can't remember. Let me grab it. Let me see if I have one right here. I have them sitting out. And yeah, here they are. Okay. Oh, no, it's a, a straight edge, a knife. It's a knife. So this set comes with the perforation tool. And I'm scared to open this. I'm going to cut myself. And then that, if you are coordinated and brave enough to use the what do you call that? You know, a little knife, craft knife. And then this is the one that I think looks like that dental tool. Oh yeah, it is a piercer, a really sharp piercer. And that one looks like you're gonna scrape the plaque off your teeth. Don't do that. Just use it to pick things up off, you know, like like if you have a sticky uh, mat or something. <laughs> we'll just call it the dental tool, but don't use it for a dental tool, okay? Okay, so let's get our piece of basic black and I need my, um, simply scored. What I found when I was playing with this is that I wasn't real good at getting a straight line. So then I thought, well, what if I used the groove lines here on my simply scored? And that worked really well. One thing that you can do is start by just uh, making a score line to kind of help keep your crafter's tip, your perforation tip in there. And then get it down there in that groove and just slowly go up. You guys see how it makes that? It's just really hard to see in this light. I don't know. But then I did it about every, I guess I did it every quarter inch. Let me, I like to start it down here so that I can start my perforation tool above the paper and then just go slow so that you don't jump the track. All right. And then just do like, I don't know, three or four of them whatever you feel like doing. I think I did this one too far. Ah, I jumped the track. Gotta go slow. There we go. All right, so, well, that second one didn't go through very well. Let's try that again. I like to use, you know, see these lines right here? I like those, I put those on there with my, just a marker to help me see so I can, I did that a long time ago, so that you don't have to start at the top every time. But it gives you those perforated lines, faux stitching. And I will tell you, it took me three or four tries to get it right the first time. And then it was, just seemed like it was easier after that. So give it a try, play around with it, see if you like it. Um, I'm gonna add some, if you take your embossing buddy and add some chalk to it, it kind of helps for it to stand out a little bit if you want it to be more um, vi um, visible. Um, but because I'm kind of making a grungy, did I even show you what we're making? This is a card, yeah, I did. Um, because I'm trying to make this kind of a grungy look, I'm gonna kind of like tap that powder on it and leave it like that. I want it to look like that. Usually we use the embossing buddy to remove static cling, but it also will put like baby powder, I guess. It's not really baby powder, but it, it's a little like cornstarch powder and it kind of, will put a chalky look on your paper. Um, Carla, yes, you do have to push pretty hard. And I have found, I mean, the perforation tool, see right here, this one, I did do it really hard and it's torn, but we're gonna tape it down. We're gonna adhere it down. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, the other ones that I did, I did not have that problem. Play around with it and see, I think it takes some practice to decide how firm the pressure needs to be. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I think everybody's gonna be, have a different take on it. But give it a try and see. Use some, you you know, take some of your scrap paper and just play around with it. All right, so we're gonna also put some splatter on here. And here's my glass mat. This is that glass mat we were talking about um, that comes in your starter kit if you want it to. And I'm gonna use the, oh, I'm like off the camera. I'm gonna use the other part of it right here. I put a little bit of this on here, um, which is white craft ink, and a little bit of water. And then I'm just gonna kind of flick some, 
some of the dots on there like that all right you guys you see these cute little bowls that i have these are um pioneer women see them they're so cute i have a big i had a big stack of them i use them for just random things in here well last week after facebook friday i had stacked them up i was cleaning up stacked them up and put in the cabinet and then they all fell out of the cabinet and almost all of them broke i was so upset um because they don't they don't have them anymore i had them for a long time i couldn't believe it i was so upset i have i have about four of them left i think i started with about maybe 10 or 11 of them <sighs> i was you know when you're just in a hurry you're just trying to do things fast. I put them, close the cabinet, and crash. All right, we're going to set this up here to dry, okay? Um, let's stamp our guitar. Our guitar. Um, you know, Barb, I bought them um, back in the fall, or maybe even in the summer. I've had them for months, and I have left them sitting out on my counter so that Joan, do they still have those bowls? I looked last week and they did not have these little bowls. If they still have them, good. I'll go get them because I did not see them at my Walmart. I need to look online. Um, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, so I got the attachments months and months ago. They've been sitting out and I wanted to do something with them. And then last week, I used them to create that stitching and I was like, oh yes, this is fun. So then, you know, once you use them once, then you're more likely to use them. Um, but it, you know, it kind of sat there kind of like taunting me, like, what are you gonna do with us? And I was like, I'm gonna use you. I am, I just gotta think of how. I've seen some really cute things um, with tear off, making like little tear off tags as part of your card. Maybe we'll do that in the next few weeks too. Okay, stamp the guitar in Memento Black. We're gonna color it with Real Red Stampin' Blend. I'm using the light color. And I am using my brush tip today. And I just got out of the line. See, every time I use the brush tip, I get out of the line. All right. And then we're gonna take the dark. Um, this guitar could be colored in tons of ways, tons of ways. If you're looking for ideas, just Google electric guitar and you will find all kinds of cool ways to color your guitar. Um, I just stuck with red. And it was, in, yeah, it was the first thing I thought of and both projects I just used red. All right, so I added some dark and I'm just gonna take my light and kind of brush that out like that. All right, the other thing before we bring over the cut and emboss machine is we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Versamark on uh, basic gray. Basic gray is one of those colors I don't use very often. Um, let's use our embossing buddy. This is the correct way to use your embossing buddy. You just rub it on there, releases all the static, and then you can stamp and see. Uh, stamp your Versamark, which is a clear ink, so you're not going to see it very well. And I'm going to use, actually, I'm not going to use silver, I'm going to use black. This is the embossing accessories kit right here. My tray still has white in it, so I'm going to try not to put this black mixed in with there. I need to clean it out. But it has, the tray has this little funnel so that you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. You can just dump it in your tray and use the funnel to dump it back into your little embossing pot. But again, I tell you guys, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to cleaning things up. I just, I don't have time for cleaning. All right, <laughs> use your heat tool. Takes, I don't know, I feel like the black takes a little bit longer than the other powder. I mean, not a lot longer, but just a little bit longer. You'll know it's done when it's all shiny which I think it is. Okay, now let's grab, these are the reverse tweezers also that come in that accessories, accessories kit. All right, do we have any guitar players in the family, you guys? 
Do we have any guitar play? You know, my daughter started with, my daughter, she and her little best friend, Carter, who lived next door to our other house, they were just constantly just into everything. And music, you know, they would build forts, they would build lemonades, you know, they were just like constantly creating things. And music was part of that. And she came home one day from Carter's house and wanted um, to play the violin and the guitar. And we were like, yeah, yeah, okay, you know how you do. You're like, oh, okay, sure. Well, she never gave up on that and she has been playing. Uh, yeah, Kay, you have musicians in your family, don't you? Um, she has been playing the violin since fifth grade and now she's a freshman. Um, but the guitar was an add-on. She, her, her friend Carter, his dad had a guitar, so she'd play guitar over there. And then she'd run home and say, I have to have a guitar. I have to have an amp. And we'd be like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And then she, as my mom calls her dripping water because she never gives up. This is the third child. You know Carla, right? Never gives up. Drip, drip, drip. She got that guitar for Christmas one year, got the amp the next year. She, the piano, she took piano lessons. It's like, she just is busy. She's busy, 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 busy. Always going, 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 going. Her and Carter both, which is good, which is good. Basketball is her number one love right now. Basketball season's over though. So now we're, we're gonna be, well, I take that back. School basketball season is over. Basketball season is never over when you have a high school athlete. Club starts this week. Club select ball, you know, it's one thing after the other. Unfortunately, select ball is across town, which makes me not a fan of select ball. The high school is only 15 minutes away. <laughs> Fortunately, select ball is not. Okay, let's put all of these things together. I cut out those stars from silver foil. We're going to use a um, basic gray card base. Smoky Slate Matte. I don't think this is dry, but we're going to go ahead and put it on here. And I'm going to try my best not to smear it. All right, let's put that on. Now, you'll notice after I made this card, the next card I used is a piece of the Designer Series paper from the Rock and Roll um, paper pack. And they actually are very similar in look. So you can create your own paper or you can just use the paper from the pack. Yes, the third one is responsible for a lot of gray hair. Lots of gray hair. Yeah. She got mad at me at dinner last night because she said, she just stopped what she was saying. I don't even remember what she was saying, but she stopped. And I'm like, what? She goes, it makes me mad when you roll your eyes when I'm talking. And I was like, oh, you don't say. And I don't even, didn't even realize I was rolling my eyes. I don't know what she was saying. I think I was laughing at what she was saying. And I was like, well, it makes me mad when you roll your eyes when I'm talking. Ah, <sighs> whatever. And then she wouldn't tell me the rest of the story. I was like, fine, whatever. I'm not going to beg you. She's just very sassy, that third one. Very sassy. I don't know where she gets it from, you guys. All right, this is a basic white radiating stitches rectangle. And we're going to put our guitar on here. Oh, wait. Now, Kate, I hope you got this set. This is a set that seems like you need this set for sure, with your family of musicians. I'm gonna use some Wink of Stella. You gotta add some glitter to this guitar. Little Wink of Stella makes it shimmery. All right, and then we'll put this on with dimensionals. Oh yes, Gail, so much fun. It's just, you know, the teenage parenting, I hear some people saying, oh, I love my kids as teenager. I'm, I'm, I'm not of that school. I like the babies. <laughs> Teenagers are rough. They are rough. I, you just don't know if you're doing it right until it's too late. You know, it's just, I guess all of parenting is like that. It's a, uh, it's, I mean, you know, you wouldn't trade it, but whew, that, uh, this teenage gig, I, I, it's not my strong suit for sure. All right, let's bring out that take your pick tool. Ooh, I just poked myself. And I'm gonna use it, the, the um, putty end for these little stars. These little stars are all on one die, so it'll cut out three stars 
at one time. And then on the end side, mean and sassy, that's exactly right. Mean and sassy. I worry about that third one. Um, she complains a lot about other people. And I feel like a lot of people probably are complaining about her. <laughs> So I am always asking, now tell me how you said that to her. Tell me why she's saying that about you or saying that to you because I have a feeling she, you're not innocent. I know you do well. Um, basic white, four by five and a fourth on the inside. Just stamp that guitar. You don't even have to color it. Just put it there. If you have time, go ahead and color it. And that's it. No bows on this card. Um, she, I will say she is the funniest of the three. She makes me laugh harder than anybody. She is very, very funny. She also makes me very, very mad. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, Peggy, that would be hard. Mary, yes. Working with teenagers and having them at home. That's how it was when I was teaching kindergarten. I taught them and then I came home to toddlers and a kindergartner myself. It was... It's hard. You need a break. You definitely need a break. Okay, so that is our pretty easy card for today. Um, that is just kind of your introductory to this rock and roll bundle. By the way, I was chit-chatting. This is post-it tape. I just like to remind you guys every now and then you need to get some post-it tape from Amazon. I think it's $4.95 a roll. Um, I linked it today again. If you... Um, need some grab it it's it's great okay now the second card is my favorite it is my favorite i created an ombre piece back here that kind of i think looks like a flame behind this retro microphone isn't the retro microphone super super cute and then the saying that goes with it that it says thanks for being an icon. I thought that was really, really clever. Really clever. Stampin' Up! comes up with really fun sentiments. Okay, let's start. No, let's start doing our flame piece. Okay, we're going to start with a piece of basic white. And we're going to use our mini brushes, our mini um, blending brushes. And we're going to use good old Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. Let me get my glass mat. This will be your arm workout for the day. So you don't have to do any other exercises if you are doing blending, okay? Tell your doctor when they say, are you exercising? You say, yes, I'm blending. That is my daily strength training. <laughs> okay, a little bit of daffodil delight and I'm gonna start down here on this end. When you do blending with three colors, the darkest color is gonna be the most overpowering and it's gonna be the one that you're gonna to wanna to use the least. So then that the opposite is true. The lightest color is gonna be the one you're gonna to wanna to use the most of um, because it's gonna get overpowered quickly by these other two colors. So I'm gonna do Daffodil Delight about halfway up and then I'm going to I'm gonna wipe this away just so that we don't have any cross-contamination. Although we are cross-contaminating basically on the paper. Um, now I'm gonna take pumpkin pie and start at the other end. And I like to start off of the, the paper because it's pretty uh, concentrated at first and you don't wanna get this hard edge blob. <laughs> Kimberly enabler, I know. You know what's an enabling? Well, you know what? Social media is enabling. I made the mistake, you guys, of joining some stupid TJ Maxx finds Facebook group where people show what they're finding at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods, and I, I gotta leave that group because every day I'm like, I gotta, I gotta run to to TJ Maxx. I gotta go find that cute thing that they just posted. And if you've ever been to TJ Maxx or Home Goods, you know that. It's a crapshoot. You don't know if you're gonna find something there that was there the other day that your friend found. You just don't know. It's all enabling. I'm gonna come back now with the yellow, okay? We're gonna use yellow again, like I said, the most. And I'm gonna kind of take it right here in the middle and really kind of try to soften that 
that blending right there so that there's not really a hard little line. Okay, now let's see. I may go in a little bit more right there with my pumpkin pie. All right, last but not least, we're gonna get our real red. And the hunt is fun, Lisa. I think that's part of, I think that's part of the fun of TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls is the hunt, right? I, I'm and I am like I feel very um, ADHD in there because I'm like I can't concentrate. I've got to look at every little thing, you know. <laughs> what if I miss something really good? Oh, I love that store. Home Goods is my all-time favorite. Okay, so there we go. I still feel like we've got a little bit of blending we could do right here on this edge but I don't want to go too crazy with my orange blending the lighter color up into that darker color will help you kind of soften those lines all right I think that's pretty good I think that's good enough if you will good enough sometimes I don't like how it's looking very glitchy on my end I don't like that I don't know what that means and I don't know how to fix it Hopefully, when it uploads for the recording, it won't be quite so glitchy. All right, I feel like maybe it's time for a new phone. I've kind of lost some quality with my phone lately, I've noticed. That's how they get you. They got do these updates, and then suddenly your battery doesn't last very long, and your pictures aren't that good. Oh, I don't know. Um, don't, Gail, don't do it. I'm telling you. It... It is, it is very enabling. You know what else is enabling you guys? Do, do you like to do um, estate sales? Estate, I like to go to estate sales too. And there's an app called Estate Sales and it will show you all the estate sales in your area with photos. And that's really dangerous too. <laughs> really dangerous. Cause I went to one this morning that when they uploaded, it had 850 pictures of things there. Um, so, you know, don't show me pictures. I don't need to know all of these things. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, back to what we're doing. Um, I bought a um, retro, um, an old uh, Polaroid camera for $12. That's what I bought. Uh, I have up on the top of my cabinets, I have like, antique not antique but like retro things retro sewing machines um retro i have a retro like stamper and so i thought the retro polaroid camera would look cute up there and it does all right again versamark this time we're going to use silver okay silver embossing powder there we go. Silver embossing powder is just beautiful. All right, so we're gonna bring the, nope, we gotta heat that up. Then we'll bring that up. I mean, then we'll bring it over. Amazon Target, now, I know, Gail, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. It, you know, the estate sales is kind of my new addiction, and it's because I follow people on Instagram who do estate sales and find all these cute antique things. So then now I'm like, well, I need to find all these cute antique things too. That's bad, it's bad, bad, bad. And if we didn't have those pictures, we wouldn't know that we needed all that. Danger, danger, danger. Okay, let's cut this out first and then we are gonna emboss our flame piece. We're gonna set this down on here and because especially when you heat emboss your paper gets a little bit warped from the heat so you're most likely going to need some post-it tape um this set also comes with several of these lightning bolts we're going to cut out two lightning bolts to come out of our little microphone um club create friends for this month just to let you know that i am ahead of schedule this month Hopefully, I will get them out early next week. We shall see. I was short gorgeous grape cardstock, so that won't be here until Monday. But 
other than that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty ahead of the game. I like to, it's like a game, it's like a, a challenge for me. Can I get Club Create, create out early? Every month, I wanna get it out early. Earlier than the 21st. Sometimes it's not possible. But this month, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna win the challenge. All right, good, Jessica, I'm glad you like it. This is one of the basics 3D embossing folders. It's in the basics embossing folder bundle. There's three embossing folders in that little bunch. It's an online exclusive. You're gonna need um, just plate one and then take all the other plates off, set your embossing folder down, and then plate four. Run it through. And so we've basically double embossed. No, we haven't double embossed, have we? We just inked and then embossed. But we did double embossed because we heat embossed the other piece. It's a double embossed card. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay, let's put all of this together. We have here, now the, here, here's the designer series paper. I should have gotten the pack to show you because there's a lot of cute paper in there. Let me see, do I have the pack? I think I might have it right here. The pack of paper is all black and white if you haven't seen it. It's very cute. I have a card that I'm gonna show you here at the end using, look, I just got ink on that paper, using this sheet of pattern paper. So the paper, black and white, like black and white kind of textural patterns. And then look at that, like scribbles, very similar to the splattered black and white piece that we did in the beginning. And that's what we're using on this one, which is like crumbled up paper with maybe like white core paper or something, the print, some more like, you know, just grunge kind of things. And then of course, a little plaid, like a hand-drawn plaid, which is really cute. So that's the paper that goes with it. And we are using this piece right here. All right, we're gonna put this on a black mat. And then we're going to put this on here, our little flame piece. There were lots of records today, really good records today at the estate sale. It was um, the Beatles, which you hardly ever find. My middle daughter likes records. So I'm always looking for records for her. There was Fleetwood Mac. There was, um, oh, drawing a blank. Um, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Let me do this and then it'll come to me. <sighs> Why can't I think of it? There was a lot of good records and I thought they were priced pretty good too, but I didn't buy any of those. This is... um our silver, let me start over, silver elegant trim. It's called elegant. And I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna crisscross up here at the front. Let's move that one that way. There we go, like that. And then we'll tie it up here at the top like this. Dark side of the moon, who is that? Why can't I think of it? Whenever I try to think of something on the spot, my brain is like, right, shut down, can't think of it. I will think of it when we get off. <laughs> I can't think. Um, this would be, yes, Shannon, you're right. Um, okay, so there we go. We've got the crisscross action. Um, I have cut out Pink Floyd, thank you, Fiona. It was like right on the tip of my tongue. It's Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Yes, thank you, I almost bought that one just because I like it, but I don't have a record player or v they call them vinyl now. She has it upstairs in a room, so whatever. She probably wouldn't have liked it. She does like the Beatles though. All right, I'm going to put this on with, I knew somebody would know. Um, put this on right here. Um, this is vellum, nested essentials, little hexagon. It is the second smallest. Do you, Lois? I like Pink, uh, Pink Floyd also. From, there was like an early point in high school where there was a boy that I liked. He liked Pink Floyd. So then I started listening to them and I really started liking them. I don't even remember his name. Obviously, barely can remember the band name. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this in the middle. Um, dimensionals, you can hide them there behind where you put the dimensionals on the black piece so that you don't see them. 
And then this, I love this little stitched rectangle. It is from the Everyday Details dies, which is a new set of dies in um, the spring catalog. All right, I'm gonna mask this off. Yesterday, there are gonna be individual recordings of this over on YouTube. And when I was making this video yesterday, I was really struggling to get this inked up right. And so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try to do it like I did yesterday. Just mask off the bottom and then on the very edge of your ink pad, stamp the bottom part, okay, on pumpkin pie. Let's see, I'm gonna have to pull this down to see if I can get it straight. Thanks for being an icon. Pumpkin pie and basic black. All right, I think that sentiment could do a lot of things. Thank you. Retirement, you know, teacher cards, you know. I think that sentiment could be used for a lot of things. All right, we're gonna kind of sandwich that right there. And then with these little lightning bolts, I my idea was, you know, like when you see an illustration of an old microphone, there's like little, like, you know, the, the talking coming out kind of in a jig jag, like a, like a little lightning bolt. So I thought that's what we're gonna do here with this. Um, now I'm gonna actually use use two mini dimensionals on each one stacked because the microphone has a dimensional and the vellum piece underneath has a dimensional. So it needs to be two dimensionals high, All right? So we'll put one coming out kind of from the back and then the other one will be coming out from the front. Are you guys doing Super Bowl stuff this weekend? Uh, you know, I watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. I mean, let's be honest. I'm thinking we're going to do pulled pork nachos. How does that sound? Does that sound delicious? That requires my husband to do some cooking. The pulled pork part. I thought, you know what? I'm going to make him do some cooking. Um, Nicole, I'm also a late 80s, 90s grunge girl. Yeah, growing up Pacific. Oh, I bet. Um, Kurt Cobain, what was his band? Nirvana, all of that. That was 90s. Was that 80s or 90s? That was 90s, wasn't it? Oh well, yeah, that was like the grunge scene in Seattle for sure. Um, that's like the soundtrack of my high school years. Commercials for sure, Lori, yes. Commercials are the best part. Um, you know, the, all this week on the Today Show, they've been previewing the commercials, which to me, I'm like, why are you showing us the commercials now? That kind of ruins the fun. And I honestly have, wasn't impressed with any of them. I thought they were all kind of lame. So I'm hoping they save the best ones to not show us. Um, snacking, that's about it, Patricia. Yeah, Super Bowl, Lisa. Let me tell you guys, if you're not into the Super Bowl, it's the very best time to go to the grocery store. Um, when my kids were little one year, I remember going to the grocery store during the Super Bowl, and it was like dead. And it was a Sunday evening. I had to go to work the next day. Um, so if you aren't into the Super Bowl, save your grocery shopping to Sunday, okay? Go during the Super Bowl. You'll be the only one in the store. All right, these are the embellishments that go with this suite. They're really cute. Adhesive-backed lightning and stars, um, which would also go really well with our space suite that we have as well. So I just put a couple of those little cuties down there in the corner. And uh, hi, Mary Alice. They go right, it goes right inside. Uh-oh, I didn't adhe adhere that very well. Let's try that again. All right, there you go. Isn't that a cool card? I think that card has big wow factor and it's that flame background for sure. And the shiny, um, shiny microphone. What do you guys think? Um, I really couldn't decide what card base I tried Pumpkin pie, real red, basic black, but I thought yellow with a black made it really pop off really well. So, okay, so there's our second project. I hope you guys like it. I have been kind of obsessed with this card. I made it a couple of weeks ago and I could not wait to show you guys. So I hope you like it. All right, last project. I'm very excited. I keep saying that I'm very excited about the next project too. Let me grab it. The next project is definitely inspired by my daughter. Hold on. 
Like I said, she got a amp to go with her guitar at Christmas. And this is what it looks like. Um, so the electric guitar plugs into the amp. It's like a big speaker just, I guess, to magnify the sound. I mean, I know nothing. I think that's what it does. <laughs> but this is a little amp box. And I really couldn't find any special... Um, oh, good, Kate. I couldn't find any special, like, guitar candy or anything. But then I, I thought, you know, what if we just went with the masculine hand sanitizer, mahogany teakwood. It's our favorite around here. You know, they've got kind of like silver and they've got like bourbon and like, you know, I think those kind of flavors would go good with a guitar. So I've got it in this little box. You could just put Hershey Kisses or little nuggets or whatever in there too. Um, it measures, I think it's like three and a half by two. It's pretty small. Okay, it's very easy to make as well. Um, this part, this die right here from the trusty tools is what we're going to use to make the speaker part, the little, the little gray piece that has the holes. Okay. So that's the die you need. Um, now if you're, if you don't have it, you could use your piercing tool to make the holes because that was my original thought. But then I was like, Oh wait, I had just finished making my trusty tools project. So I was like, wait, 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 we have the perfect tool for that. Okay, so I'm gonna need my assembly board again. Let's look at the measurements are on the second page over here of your free PDF today. Um, this is a piece of basic black that is five and a half by six and a half. We're gonna score the long side at two and three and five and six. Sounds like we're dancing. Um, turn it to the short side and score it at half an inch. Oh goodness, come on, half an inch. We're gonna cut that piece off, I think, I hope. Half an inch, one and a half, and four and a half. I don't know, no, I don't think we're gonna cut that piece off. Oh, well, it's okay. Just a little score line, never hurt anybody. Get your bone folder. Burnish those lines, nice and crisp. And then we're gonna put it together. All right, over here on this end is this half inch section and we just need this part of it right here. So you're gonna cut off the rectangle on the bottom and the rectangle and the square that's on the top. And when you do, cut it at an angle so that the corners basically are cut off of that tab, okay? Then down here at the bottom, we're gonna just snip these score lines, okay? Um, cut the corners, just shallow corners off of those little tabs. All right, now up here, we're gonna cut on the opposite side from here, we're gonna cut off these two sections. Um, and this is gonna be the front edge. So you wanna go real slow so that it's nice and straight. Okay, cut that off. Um, let me show you right here. These two tabs are gonna be, these little side tabs are these squares right here. So we're gonna cut off this rectangle that's above the square but while we do it, go ahead and cut all the way in like that. And then just cut off the top little rectangle. Okay, do the same thing right here. And then last but not least, we're gonna snip those corners off. And let me get all this out of the way so you can see, this is what your piece looks like now, okay? Oh, I cannot get these picked up. Come on, guys. I've got this silicone mat down and everything is sticking to it. Okay, so there's your piece. Um, one other thing that I did was I took my half inch circle punch and put a little finger notch right here, okay? Not necessary, but I think it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Nicole, feels like I should be wearing my Doc Martens in flannel shirt. Absolutely. Nicole, my oldest, 
She's a junior in college, has Doc Martens. And I laugh because, and, and her clothes even are like what we wore. But, you know, to them it's all new. She said, do you know, have you ever heard of Doc Martens? I was like, hmm, let me think. Have I ever heard of Doc Martens? Oh, silly kids, everything's reinvented. All right, this little um, uh, tab folds in. Then it's gonna just fold this over and it matches like that. Now, I decided to make this part the back of the box, okay? I put, I wanted the front to be all the rounded edges, so I essentially decorated the back side of the box, okay? Um, so fold in the bottom tabs, fold in the, the flap, that's this part right here. It's black, I'm looking at the screen, it's very hard to see. Um, hopefully, if you're gonna come back, go watch the, the recording on YouTube. It's a little bit lighter. Um, and then fold the front flap last, okay? And then we'll put our little hand sanitizer in there. Fold, fold, and tuck, okay? And that is the back side of the box. There we go. Okay, now let's decorate the front side. Um, let's go ahead and do, before we bring over the cut and emboss machine, let's do our guitar. Again, we're gonna do it exactly the same as we did for the first project. Oh, I just got that ink on my silicone mat. I wonder if that's gonna come off. All right, we're gonna use Real Red again. Um, you know, I, I used Real Red on both projects, and then I made a couple of extra bonus projects. And um, again, I wanted to just use red, but I forced myself to use Pumpkin Pie and Dapto Delight on the guitars, and they're so cute. So I think even like turquoise would be really cute on the guitar. Um, I mean, purple, you could just really do any color. You could color it like we did that piece on the second card and make it like a flame guitar, you know, using your stamp of blends to blend the colors together. That would be really cute. I should have, I should have thought of that. I didn't think of it. All right. So light, dark, around just adding a little bit of a shadow um Jean so I what I use my swaps for is you know sometimes like today like I'll say here I have some bonus cards to show you using this set so I will show you them as we use those sets and yes you'll see you'll see them just not all at the same time um, there were none of them in there that used this set, which I was pretty surprised. Um, there was a bunch of uh, lavender, a, a bunch of lavender ones. So maybe I'll show you those next week because I'm not going to do a Facebook Friday with the lavender since I did club already. Um, what else? There was a bunch of, oh, the, the Valentine ones. Maybe I should show you guys those since this is the last time I'll see you before Valentine's Day. Um, let me get the things on here. We're gonna cut this. You need all your plates again. You need your guitar die. Let's run this through. You know, I really wonder about those swaps. If you haven't heard my swap saga, swaps were mailed from Minnesota on December 31st. Supposed to be here January 3rd. Didn't come, didn't come, didn't come. Showed no update from, uh, what did I say, St. Paul. I'd given up hope. Well, they showed up this week, you guys. Who knows where they've been? I mean, they were in great condition. It wasn't like they had been run over or anything. <laughs> I don't know, um, but they were in great condition. I, you know, I, you just, who knows? I mean, maybe they were just, somebody said one week that the St. Paul main post office was very short-handed, like short-staffed. So maybe they 
you know, just hadn't sorted through all the mail. I don't know, six weeks is a really long time to not be able to catch up, but who am I to judge? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take this little piece. Did I, I don't think I put the, the I need to add the sizes of these pieces to the PDF. I will do that. I'll tell you in just a second. If you've already printed it out, you can write it down. This is a piece of smoky slate and I'm gonna run it through. I have the die upside down so I can try to get my little circles, my little holes straight on there. Ooh, you know, this would be a good time to use my, my dental tool. Let's see. Where is my perforated? Somewhere. Okay, hold on, hold, just hold on, hold on. I wanna use this. Um, okay, so then I could take, I could take this and just very carefully pull that up. Look at that, it worked beautifully. Okay, <laughs> took half a second. But once I got it on there, it worked. Okay, so now we've got that, that smoky slate and a little sliver of real red. Let me tell you the size of this. If you've already printed out your PDF, I'll go back and add it when the video is done. Um, so this is one and seven eighths by two and a fourth. Okay, and then um, we're gonna add just a little, just teeny tiny baby dots. Dot is a lot, you guys, especially here. You don't want those little dots to squish out on your black piece, okay? Do, do, do. Now, you know, before I put this down, let, let me, there's something else you need to do. Take your, your elegant trim. <laughs> Mine's a mess, it's all tangled up. And get a, just a glue dot on the end. Okay. This would be a good place to use that, that take your pick tool too. And just set it down on here like that, okay? And then get this piece and we're gonna adhere it right on top like that. And I'm gonna hold it down for a minute, make it, make it dry. We're also gonna put that little red piece. The red piece, I think it's half an inch. Yeah, half an inch by one and seven eighths. And that's gonna go up there at the top like that. Okay, get it nice and straight. I'm gonna set this on top of this so it'll be flat. All right, and then we're gonna cut that off and we're gonna get the dimensionals. And we're gonna adhere this to the back Oh, I really need to see where, how long it needs to be. Okay, so about like that. See how I just sandwiched that on there with a dimensional, like that? And then we'll get this and just kind of put it like that. Like it's the wire that connects to the amp. It's perfect, right? That silver trim is perfect for this. Okay, now for the words. We're gonna use the U rock. You can cut these out. You really don't need to mask anything except for that apostrophe. It's really close to the U. So I'm gonna take my post-it tape once again and I'm gonna get as close as I can to get that apostrophe to be masked off. I mean, we can mask the other stuff off, but we really don't need to because we can just cut it away. Okay, um, let me get my white paper over here ready to go and our memento black. I wanted the words to be small. I didn't want them to take away from the cuteness of the box. Oh, let me use this side. All right, let's just stamp it right there. And now, I know it looks all like, ooh, but that's okay, because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these words out, like rec little, just little framed out rectangles, okay? So there's rock, and then you, if you have your Stampin' Write markers, 
you can use those too. You could just color, instead of inking it with the, the ink pad, you can just color the U and the rock with a, uh, like a basic black Stampin' Right marker, and you don't have to worry about masking it off. All right, many dimensionals on here. This box is actually really, I mean, easy. It's just really three pieces plus your white for stamping. And these would make great party favors, wouldn't they? Great party favors. I kind of like to do them like kind of crooked. All right, the last thing I'm going to add or is the last thing you would think of to go with this suite, but it's the festive pearls. And we'll use our Tank Your Pick Tool putty end, and we're just gonna add these on. The hardest thing is gonna be to get them straight. They don't have to be perfect. My putty is like out of control. It's like dripping down the side of my, my uh, Tank Your Pick Tool. I need to start over. All right, and these are the knobs, you know, like the, the little dials at the top of the amp that does whatever dials do on an amp. I don't know, bass, treble, sound. I, I have no idea, zero idea. All I know is that it's cute and it looks very similar to the amp that she has. All right, there you go. What do you, what do you guys think? I mean, it doesn't get much cuter than this, in my opinion. You rock. You, I mean, you could give these for any reason, telling somebody they rock. I always love the sentiment, you rock. You could use that with lots of things. You guys like it? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I love this project. This is, this is one of my... I don't know. When I had the idea, some I've told you guys, sometimes an idea pops in your head and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to make that. This was one of those that just kind of randomly came to me. I thought it was pretty fun. Okay, let me show you. Turn them up to 11, Nancy. That's funny. Um, okay, let me show you my bonus cards. This one's really cute. I almost made this one today. Um, I made the, the, the vinyls or records, depending on wh what generation you are. Just from black circles, uh, stylish shape circles, I punched half inch circles in the middle. This one, to make the little circle, I use my uh, crocodile punch. Um, to make this, it's just a folded over piece of crumb cake with a, a little, you know, like inch maybe circle punched out of it. Again, emboss that. And then I put a strip there, so that we could put a gift card in. And I put Wink of Stella on this one. I'm not sure if I like the Wink of Stella or not, but, and then it's a gift card holder. That'll be on Monday, I guess. And then this one will be on Tuesday. This is that paper I showed you. Um, it comes black and white, but I just used my blends to color the um, guitars. And I fussy cut a guitar stamped the drumsticks, colored them with crumb cake, and then cut out the large guitar pick from our, oh, what do you call it? The iridescent paper that's with the space unit in the annual catalog. I'll have it on the supply list on Tuesday when I put it on my blog. I like that card. I love, you know, usually I have one or two that I like more than the others. But I love all these projects. They're so fun. Just very different from what I usually do, I think. The, you know, kind of masculine theme. Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm glad you liked them. Remember, if you would like these three projects as a make and take kit, I'll send them to you for free. Holographic, thank you. That's what the paper is called, Jean Holographic. Um, I will send this little make and take project for you um, free with a $50 order. You can order anything you want at stampinup.com. Just make sure to use the host code so I know you want the projects. If your order is over $150, you know what? Hold on just a second. If your order is over $150, guys, you get stamp and rewards. I heard somebody, well, I read something where somebody didn't tell people about stamp and rewards, and I just want to make sure that you guys know if I can find the stamp and rewards chart. At the back of every catalog, it'll tell you. Party sales, $150. 
You don't have to have a party to get these. Your order, if your own personal order is over $150, you're gonna earn Stampin' Rewards starting at 10% of your order. So if your order is 150, you get $15 in Stampin' Rewards and on up. During celebration, I don't wanna quote you the wrong number. During celebration, you get extra Stampin' Rewards if your order is over. Let me look, I don't wanna tell you the wrong thing over, what is it, 300 or is it 350? Let me see, um, 300. If your order is over $300, you're gonna get 12%, whatever 12% of 30 is. I'm not even gonna try to pretend like I know what that is. I mean, 12% of 300, it's like $36, I think, plus an additional $30. Stamper Rewards, that's the sweet spot right there, that $300. Um, so if you are putting in a big order, my whole point of this is if you're putting in a big order, don't use that host code because you will earn those Stamper Rewards and I will still send you the projects for free, okay? Now, if your order is under $150, you're not gonna earn those Stamper Rewards, please use the host code because then I can use the Stamper Rewards to to buy the cardstock and all the things that I send you guys for free and the prizes. Okay, does that make sense, hopefully? Okay, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully, we'll see some fun commercials. Um, there will be no Facebook Friday next week. I'll be traveling, but I will have um, something fun planned for you. I've got some fun celebration cards and projects for you next week, but there won't be a live, okay? All right, you guys, I'll see you in two weeks. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.